and you failed. You are dead to me. Uh, Aw. Okay. Hello, everybody. My name is Rune Eldred. And I'm Otto Otter. And I'm David, or Roz or whatever you want to call me. And together we are the Nerdgasmic Goodfellas. Welcome to episode two of the Nerdgasmic Podcast. Censored for your pleasure. Yeah. You are going to have also so riveted. many beeps. <laughs> have fun <laughs> editing this. Because I'm not censoring myself. I am not going to edit it at all. There you go. I'm not going to edit out any swear words. We're all adults here. And if you're under the age of 18, well, fuck it. So. I was swearing when I was like nine. Come on. And it, that was, back, that was back in 2000. Of, I came out of the womb saying. That was in 2009. Before, before, Nowadays, before kids are probably start. swearing at like five. Before we start. Yeah. Spoiler warning. Yes. Trigger warning. Spoilers and triggers and because we are warning. talking about. But we don't have the camera going. What are we so talking we don't about? Don't worry about that. Yeah, no slap cam today. So today's topic for the Nerdgasmic podcast is the top three villains of all Oof. time. With the exceptional rule that one of the three villains has to be from a game that came out in 2017. Surprisingly more difficult than I thought. Very I thought it would be difficult. easy. Um, tons of good games that come out this year. Not but, many memorable villains that came out this year. Yeah, not a lot of good rememberable games. There are the few exceptions, like Prey, Tales of Bethesia. Yeah. Um, well, I don't know. Did Fallout 4 come out this year? That was Fallout was 4 was one. two years ago. Yeah, that was like Seriously? 2015, yeah. dude. Oh yeah, that, that was ages ago. I feel old now. And then, I'm regarding wondering. Fallout 4, it really depends on which way you go. You may yourself may be the bad, the guy. bad guy. All right, we should, we should say, for, let's go down the line. Let's just say all three. All three? All right. Yeah. Well, you're closest to the mic, so you first. All right. So my three, uh, my top three villains of all time, Sephiroth from Final Fantasy VII, Boss Montenegro from Far Cry 3, and I can never say his name, Artorius Colbrand, or just Arthur from Tales of Berseria. That's my 2017 pick. My picks are the Entity from Dead by Daylight, which is my 2017 pick, Joker from the Arkham series, and Us. From, you're going to have to be more specific. Us from any game that allows you to make moral choices. Like The Sims. Like Sims, Fallout, Mass Effect. Sims Skyrim. again. Skyrim, Sims again. And then Sims I City. have... No. <laughs> well, to be Fable. Fair, yeah. I have a really crappy person sitting next to me, but um, it keeps interrupting you. I see your mind working. Anyway, so I have Alex Venus. Morgan from Prey. I have Soul Wing Pixie from Ace Combat Zero. That's a lot of penis. And then I have Bowser from Super Mario. Yeah. Would Bowser technically be the good guy? Because Mario's a dick. Okay. We're, we're not, we're not getting there yet. <laughs> no, that's, we're not that's, a, get that's there a whole yet. fan theory thing. We're not doing right. fan theories. Uh, okay, so for we're that's just going to do this uh, round by round. And round one. We picked at random, so it was fair. And Oops. somehow we all picked our 2017 choice in round one. Oops. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy there. Oh, no. So we've got uh, 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 Arthur. We're just going to call him Arthur because they call him that. Arthur from Tales of Berseria versus... The Entity from Dead by Daylight. Versus... And Alex Morgan from Prey. Okay. Since I went first on the last episode podcast, one of you two have to go first. I'll go first. I'll just give you like a quick summary because I'm going to say about... 12 pe- out of the out of all the Wait people listening hold on i bet like five people you, have played tales of berseria before you start you said we can't do remakes right it's technically not a remake okay uh, no my my the prey i was double checking on prey oh prey, that, that's a prey completely has different been, game prey has been confirmed not to be a remake that's a good that's like a complete a reboot or whatever continue it was yeah. a complete just overhaul yeah, I just double check it, it. All right, so uh, for all back to the original though, will you shut up now? No, I'm getting what you're saying. It just goes on and on. Yeah. All right, so for all four of you who know what uh, Tales of Berseria is, there it's the latest entry in the uh, the Tales franchise, and uh, the main villain is uh, Arturius Colbrand, but he goes by Arthur sometimes. Uh, he is the leader of the Abbey, uh, and his goal is to strip humanity of all emotion and free will. And in doing so, he thinks that will uh, bring an end to what they call the demon blight and get and basically purify the whole world. Um, so yeah, he starts off actually as the main character's brother-in-law uh, married 
to her older sister. The sister dies. And then uh, the dude's like, you know what I can do? I can sacrifice your little brother to try and end this. So he does that, kills her, kills the little brother. And then uh, pris imprisons our main character, uh, Velvet. And then uh, spends the next three years uh, becoming a hero to the world. So he can take all the power for himself and then uh, destroy humanity. So he can purge all, you know, negative emotions and whatnot. Um, and then, of course, he tries to kill our main character, Velvet, uh, like 800 times. And, uh, yeah, he's a giant douchebag who, uh, who hates you. And he's an asshole. And he looks like an asshole. Oh, like a legit asshole? Or... Yeah, like, look at him. He looks like a prick, right? Like, he looks like just a jerk. Douchey. Yeah. That so, yeah, he's basically up. some annoying religious ass, ass fanatic. So there you go. It's Rune. It's what? It's Rune. What? Rune. Me. Oh, you. Right. Yeah. I know I don't typically refer to him as Rune off, you know, voice and camera. Right. But Rune. So yeah, that's uh, that's Arthur. Son of a bitch. You can tell there's some saltiness in there. Look, he's done some shit. <laughs> he's done some shit. All right, so <clears throat> I suppose I should go next. Yep. Let you go last this yep. time. And so, then I'll go first in round two. Or you okay. can go first. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Round two. Round two. Well, no, no it's round still one. It's still round, round one. one. Don't, oh, worry. Yeah. Don't change Don't Shit. confuse people. <laughs> I'm confusing myself. So I chose Alex Morgan from Prey, which nice. I know is the protagonist, but I get the feeling I haven't beaten the game yet, though. My, my The game's been acting up for me, so I haven't really had much of a chance to beat it. Oh my Plus god. Plus the fact that I haven't had much time. Uh, but I gather. You're taking such a huge risk debating it than if you haven't beaten it. To be fair, I haven't played the game, so I have no idea. Uh, you said Alex so... Morgan, I'm like, who? From Prey. Oh, okay, sure. It's so yeah, no, good. you play as Alex Morgan. Or, right. Oh, shit. Is it, it's still if Alex you knew... Morgan from. If yeah. you play as the chick, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. The name is. Mm -hmm. Same for both. All right, so go on. If you need any help explaining, I know a lot about the game. I figured you did. It's so good. Anyway, I'm not gonna give the entire plot away or you know step by step <laughs> like some other people. I'm just gonna go very basic on the beginning of the game. You're a scientist on Talos One. That's up in space by the moon, and there are aliens that are running around, and that's prey. But huh. that's just introducing Interesting. who I am. I just read the ending of that game. It's so good. Oh, my God. Hmm. I so want to do a spoiler alert just to kind of I mean, we said spoiler alert. We did say spoiler alert. But so. let's, so, get, let's get your your. But go ahead and say well, who well, you are first. We're, we're right. just introducing at the moment. Yeah. We're not arguing yet. So, the entity is from Dead by Daylight. He is a Belevent a Belevent? Belevent, Belevent. Belevent, Belevent force that pretty much kidnaps people and forces them into a mind game in which he tortures the victims. So it's Jigsaw. In a way, it is a spiritual Jigsaw. All right. Unlike the movie Jigsaw coming out later this year. Oh, yeah, that's right. I yeah. so can't wait to see it, though. I, I don't care. I want to see it just because no, I'm no, curious. No, 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 no sidetracking here. Yeah, I mean, Stay on topic for a minute. Yeah, Otto. I just made a joke. You I was talking that, to you. Yeah, you're I the know. one that ran with it. Come I on. did Anyway, so now that we've introduced... Well, actually, no. You, yeah, 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 now that I we've introduced, introduced, now we argue. Oosh. Okay, um, well, like I said, I don't... I never played Prey, so I don't really know. So why don't you kind of tell so, us about Prey? In Prey, you start the another, argue, You start arguing, because I'm, I'm, I don't have much... Prey is another one of those morality choice games. I don't know if you've had to come across it in your own story yet. But during my Let's Play, you have the option to either kill other scientists, which obviously is a bad choice. You want to try to save as many people at the end. Mm -hmm. Or another way that you could have a negative impact in the game is if you use the Typhoon DNA, which is the name of the aliens. So if you end up injecting yourself with even one dose of Typhoon DNA, you're instantly becoming the bad guy. So... Do but I, he doesn't... He, you can be the good guy. You can be the good guy. Okay. But there is a M. Night Shyamalan slap you in the face with a shovel until you bleed ending. Yeah, I'm reading it right now. Which there are three different Woo! endings to the game. And as just a spoiler warning, 
You are indeed a typhoon the entire time. Alex has been dead for over 20 years. See, now you don't have to finish the game because we yeah, just told you. Yeah. Yeah. No, there you go. The game. But I'm not going to <laughs> I'm not going to say which endings are which because all three endings are drastically different. In what the outcome could be, but there is so obviously I could, the I could good. Just, I could just read it right here. I I know the three endings, but okay. I'm choosing not to say them because I don't want to ruin the overall story for David. Being a typhoon doesn't really spoil anything because you kind of get that feeling in the beginning. Oh, I get yeah, okay. Because go on, I get if it. you actually listen to what the aliens are saying, they hint to the fact that the reason they're at the base is because one of their own let them in. Yeah, and. If I were to actually say the ending, it would be really fucked up because of where you're at and what is happening around you. So I'll leave it at that. I think Alex Morgan is a very good villain, but he is also a very good protagonist. Yeah, that's why I'm getting a little... And if I'm going to say who the true villain of Prey would be, I'd have to say it was his brother. I would say the the Typhoon who trying. The typhoons well, are more probably, of a victim. You probably have to play the game to, yeah. to gather that. But the typhoons are more true. of a victim in the situation. Oh, there you go. Okay, yeah. I mean, just the big thing is just like he can be a good guy. You know, it's he like could be a good. I guy. mean, you could you could but, be a very bad guy, yeah, but there's yeah. also the choice of being a good guy. But we're not having to choose who the true villain is in each of the games. Just who the best I suppose. Is. Okay. Um, let's talk about his his your pick. Let's talk about this. So let's you talk picked. About it. Essentially, all the villains from Dead, all the killers from Dead by Daylight. I didn't no, essentially no. pick all the killers. What happened Here, is, I will explain. Since you explained, oh shit, Prey here for we second, go. I'm gonna explain. Because right. actually, to I the best of my knowledge, Daylight. granted, I haven't played much of the game. Yeah. I, I really and it's not really, it's not a, it's not a game that's like a, it has like a campaign and stuff. It's like, no, it is a straight. There's some hidden. I'd say there's probably some like hidden story stuff that you can kind of gather. There is hidden. But stories. for the most part, it's just oh, one person's a killer, the others have to try and escape. I think I'm... Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. But the entity is not any of, and I know you guys can't see me gesturing at Rune's notebook here. Rune has all of the uh, killers or the yeah. monsters written down. The entity isn't any of them. Mm-hmm. The entity is an overall force that brings in these humans and then throws a monster in there and got it humans so it's like an it's kind of like an overseer of everything like it puts everything in place and then just kind of lets it happen and Uh, in essence yes the entity is a force that kidnaps people and takes them into the woods and kind of consumes them mm -hmm. and once you're consumed by the entity you're in its world okay so what happened was it originally took a group of people that it was going to make into killers which is the Trapper, the Rafe, the Hillbilly, the Nurse, Michael Myers, which I can talk about later, the Hag, the Doctor, and the Huntress from another movie that I can't remember. I think it was your next. Mm-hmm. But he kidnapped them and tortured them until they pretty much turned into monsters. And then what he mm-hmm. does is he hunts down people that are going to be discarded in life, well, as in runaway children, convicts. And stuff like that. And he kidnaps them. Okay. And what he does is he puts them in these torturous cat and mouse games. In which the killers are hunting down the survivors. Okay. And what the entity wants you to think is that you have hope of escaping. Right. So throughout the game, as the survivors take down more generators, it actually empowers the killer to be faster and stronger. Okay. So the overall goal of the entity is for the killer to put the survivors on a hook and sacrifice them to it. Because he feeds off that, of that. Okay, that's what the and then whole, he'll like, put hooking them... and then the bodies dissolve. Yeah. yeah. Actually, if you watch, the hooks that come out and grab and lift it up is the entity itself. That's cool. And it's also rumored that if you look outside of the map, you can actually see the entity hmm. moving around outside of the map watching that's cool. you. So, that's two down. Uh, and now... Yeah, I mean, yeah. I picked an actual human. Well, you did too. I mean, I'm talking more to Ryan. Well, but... actually, well, I guess technically. No, you're not really a human either. Yeah. He's not. Well, okay, so I picked I picked an actual villain you face and fight. Well, you picked more of like. Well, you can face him. Like, 
I guess in the mirror. Can. Yeah. Okay. No, I'm talking. I'm again. I'm talking to the Dead by Daylight pick oh, here. Okay. You well, can um, face it. I mean, you can escape from. Well, it. here's the thing. So basically, it sounds you like he's doing. The sky. It sounds like the entity. He's doing kind of a public service because I mean, he's just picking up like convicts and shit. Well, no, no, no. he also is picking up runaways and runaways, well, I mean, okay. people, and Bill from Left for Dead. Oh. You can't just take Bill. He was already. He's dead already. Nobody likes. Bill. In the actual about- storyline, which Valve released. Mm-hmm. When Bill's sitting there dying, okay, he the entity picks him up and saves him. I got you. Can I can, can, can I counter welfare. that? Uh, Bill is everyone's least favorite in Left for Dead I because love everyone Bill. loves Francis and Zoe Francis. and Lewis. Nobody likes Bill. Bill is the is the Rochelle of Left for Dead. It's the just the fourth player is like, oh, I guess I'm <laughs> stuck with Bill. I guess I'm stuck with Rochelle. I Nobody likes Rochelle. Bill. So there you go. Why okay. would the AI for Rochelle always jump in front of your fucking gun? All right. So yeah, my guy, he's just an asshole. Like, will be he. The worst thing about him is that everything he does, he believes is, uh, is right. He's. I mean, he's. You know, he's a uh, an extremist. Really, he. He see. He sees the problem. He wants to solve it. Unfortunately, the way he thinks he's gonna solve it is getting rid of people's free will and has no real empathy for anyone. I mean, he's doing this to his own, like, his own sister-in-law. He's trying to sacrifice her right. to... And, I mean, not just her. I mean, she's the... You know, Velvet's our main character, but he's basically trying to destroy the entire world in a, in a sense, I'd say, you know, of, like, of you know, stripping us of emotion and free will, which... Some could argue would, is leaves us as just you know nothing. Um, he's he's son of a bitch. I mean, yeah, like I get like the whole entity, but it's just like I don't know. I just it's it's more this like otherworldly force. And as far as villains, as far as like if we're talking about the top three villains for round one, for yeah, round yeah, one, yeah, round one, and like out of, out of like is one of the best villains you're gonna pick. An, like a more like a person who is truly evil and doesn't have any good. I mean, I, is it a person? The entity? Yeah, I mean, it, I mean, does really a person it's a have consciousness at least? It's it is a living thing, as the way okay, as the way the game this thing. as the way the game it's explains the it. Yeah, I know. It's <laughs> it's the same as it, man. Don't worry, his other two choices suck. Yeah, my other two choices are probably. And I also don't know this. what I don't know. I just don't know how to argue Alex Morgan because it's like he can be a good guy. Yeah, that's Which where I it's go like, too. It's like whereas ours are just straight up. But if you take out villains. if you take out the morality choice and you just focus on Morgan, right? You, but then you, how much no, no, of, how Alex much of, how much of a Alex villain you. is he? That's his name. Alex, you. Yeah, because Morgan, 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 you. Morgan, because Alex is yeah. the brother. Yeah, really, because on the Ooh. Wikipedia they keep saying, they keep referencing him as to as Morgan. Yeah, yeah his Mor- name Morgan. is Morgan. Oh, Oh, Alex okay. is the brother. God. Okay. Yeah. okay, so back to what we were saying. If you're taking out the morality <laughs> All right, so you lose because you fucked it up. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Alex, so, or Morgan could be a potentially good villain. Okay, well, it looks I'm like... I'm getting a phone call. One sec. You keep, keep arguing. I, I, I can pause, pause it. it. No, no, no. So, as we're saying... Sorry, I had a random telemarketer trying to sell me or sell my dad insurance, but got my phone number somehow. Huh. I would have gone with it. Hello. I would have gone with it and been like, "Yeah, sure, just throw that on Do there." Do you have no. fifty cases of Viagra I can buy? <laughs> Anyways, so <laughs> I, I'm just I'm caught up with this whole Morgan U thing of just like, it's a it's a fifty fifty chance. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna stop. Right okay, here. we've already dropped him out, hadn't we? Well, not I really. I mean, you're not making a case for him, so I yeah, guess you're not, not making a case. You're right, not making a case. I was actually, I was actually, I was okay, actually leaning up. towards the end of ending the round per se. Yeah, you we, guys we, have made we do a need case. To, we do need to because we get we okay. have two more rounds. So we'll just drop Morgan. You. Yeah. We'll say right. because of the morality so factor. You're just, you're just gonna drop you. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> nah. All right. One second. Sorry. Edit, edit this part out. So we'll do we'll do that. Like we'll have we'll argue for the other two rounds. We'll argue, and then there'll be a clear loser. And then, like, it'll be between the la- the other two. And then we just 
we make the argument. Yeah. So that way, one of the other two will All get right. a second yeah. vote. Okay. All right. So between the entity and, and those who Arthur, have... we'll just call him Arthur because it's easy. It's way easier than Artorias Colbrand. What things has he done that was truly villainous? Evil? Um, like what were some of his things that he has done? Uh, killed a ten-year-old child. Um, sought to bring all of humanity to uh, have no emotion and no free will whatsoever. Try to kill uh, his sister-in-law numerous times. Try to um, oh, and he became he became a hero to the people. So he basically betrayed uh, everyone. Um, Fascinating stuff. Are you using my phone charger? <laughs> Son of a bitch. Um, yeah, I mean that. I mean, yeah, it's like I mean, it's hard to argue against just some entity that's like evil. Pure, and just there's like literally just pure evil. But I mean, I don't know. I feel I, like in terms of a like a a video game villain, this is more. I feel like this is better because it's a, it's a person who's doing something as opposed to just some upper en- entity that's turning people into villains wow. and then making and then letting them kill other people but i don't know that's my argument okay. all right my argument is your arthur does make a good villain he has done villainous acts like killing a 10 year old pretty much wiping emotion from an entire syllabi- c- civilization civilization god i have a speech impairment can't talk but on the rebuttal to it the entity is as you say a force that's just all powerful it kidnaps people turns them into monsters so in a way it is a jigsaw he is an overseer that does produce out evil intentions there's not a single good intention it has it's not trying to fix a problem as you said arthur does its main focus and goal is I am going to consume your soul through fear, torture, and pain. Okay. So since David, you dropped out, I did because drop out. I, you I, I, have yeah. to pick who you think wins this round. Are you guys both voting for yourselves? You're not gonna. Change? Oh no, I'm gonna vote for myself. Yeah, I'm gonna vote not, for myself too. Well, I'm gonna go with Arthur on this one. Yes. All right. Like, we got auto can one. You say, can you say? Uh, yeah, just a quick why. why. Why? Yeah. <laughs> And it has to be a legit... No, okay, no, no yeah, no, you no. can't say it because yours is dumb and I don't no, like no, no. it. <laughs> I, I was jokingly thinking in my head, I'm like, I could just say because I don't like room. But no. Um, <laughs> I feel because so loved. the entity, though, like you had said, it's kind of more doing a service. Granted, it is taking the, you know, runaways. and not well, Runaways are bad. Um, I was more going off of, you said he killed a 10-year-old. Yes. And the entity doesn't go off after it, anybody that young. No, it does. If you actually look into the lore of the game, but you didn't cover journals, that in your argument. Okay, here let so me go through a detail. I was going off. Let all me go through also, a detailed. Also, he does list it of in everything. my game, whereas you have to research a bunch of crap. In you don't your have game. to research it. When you mm, level up like in the game, research. you get journal entries from one of the survivors, one of the people the entity favors that writes about it. Oh boy, reading. And he ma- <laughs> oh boy, reading. Says says the aspiring writer. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Anyway, no, but, but, but will, no, yeah, will, but it's right. You, did, you, you, you should have brought that argued. up in your argument. So, so yeah, the I'm entity, going off of what you guys had argued. Yeah, the entity that's how we should anybody. Okay, but you didn't say that. No, you didn't. You hadn't mentioned that, so okay. I didn't know that. So I was, that's why I chose Arthur. Ooh, well, I, I, my I graciously will accept this loss because right. again, I do think it's semi unfair to choose an entity in itself. To he says, well. His third choice is being us. We'll 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 but get we'll, to that. We'll, we'll cover get that, that bridge. All right, so uh, I guess I got the first point. Yeah, you got the first point. Auto's up one. Wow, Arthur, uh, you did one thing good. You got me a point. <laughs> oh, auto automatically lost. He did a good act. <laughs> uh, no, right. I, have, I have no regrets killing you. So round two. Round two. Right? Yes. Round two. Yeah. Round two. Fight. Okay, so for round two, I picked uh, Voss Montenegro. I picked Joker. And uh, I had chosen something else, but I'm going with Bowser now. All right. All right. Why don't you start? So Bowser is from the Super Mario, you know, Brothers games. Bowser kidnaps a princess, and I'm just going off of the value as simplistic as I can make yeah. it. I mean, to be fair, if you're listening to this, I'm going to go ahead and assume you know who Bowser is. 
you know, I, yeah. I, I you're, sure you're certainly, hope so. Yeah. You would certainly hope so if, you know. Well, I mean, there are some people that probably don't know who he is. That's true. Kind of the new All the <laughs> Nintendo games. Um, anyway. So, he kidnaps a princess, and then he is the King Koopa. Yep. On to Rune. Explain okay. your person. Well, obviously everybody knows who the Joker is. If you don't know who the Joker is, you're either a newborn or you've lived under a rock your whole life. He's been a villain for 75 years now. 76. But let's keep it in con- in containing in- with the games. We're not... Re- so, the games movie. take place pretty much in the comic book universe. There's a lot of things that's happened in the comic books that have happened in the games. And we should specifically say the Arkham series. The, the, Ar- Arkham the Batman Arkham tr- like trilogy. There's, there's more three than just three. Yeah, there's more than oh, three games. Okay. Yeah. There's- there's a speculation new, of a new one, but this is a topic. It's episode. actually Warner so, yeah. Brothers has yeah. confirmed insurgency. Topic cool. for another day. But yeah, anyways. Yeah. Okay, okay. So it's the Joker. All right. Yeah. Uh, so. Um, I love Voss. It's going to be so hard mm-hmm. to argue. There you go. Uh, so yeah, I picked Ooh, Voss wow. Montenegro. Uh, he's from Far Cry 3. Um, you probably remember this guy because he's uh, insane. The um, definition of He insane. is. A, he's the he's a pirate leader, um, and the best part about Voss is he's not even the main prote- the protagonist. He's not the main antagonist of his game. That is a uh, Hoyt, and uh, you don't remember Hoyt because he's boring and he sucks. But you do I remember know. Voss because he is he was the selling item. Are you gonna? Do you want to just do you want to just no. argue for me? I'm sorry. Because he, you're right. I mean, he was he's on the cover. He's he's your reason to play. He uh, let's just read. His hobbies include uh, killing the rak- the rakya, which are the the uh, people that live on the island, uh, and civilians, uh, taking drugs, and physically and psychologically torturing his hostages. Uh, his goals are eliminate every ra- ray cat uh, in his in his way, including his sister, uh, and to kill uh, the main character, Jason Brody. Just uh, not really. Because Jason Brody did anything bad, he just, you know, was there, and he's like, you know what, I'm gonna kill you. Uh, he does, and he does kill, uh, his older brother. I can't remember the older brother's name. Oh. Um, so yeah, this dude is actually crazy, Are you, and... are you, are you introducing him? Oh, yeah, I guess, I, 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 no, I guess I'll, I'll go into argument. I'll, I'll I start my first argument. Yeah, I'll, okay. I'll start arguing first. Uh, and of course is is uh... I think it's a pretty famous quote. Uh, the, did I ever tell you the definition of insanity? And his whole speech about, you know, what he thinks insanity is as uh, his as his lackeys are tying, like, concrete slabs to people's feet and then dropping them off of, like, a 50-foot cliff into water. And he's about to do that with you. And he's telling you, basically, you know, he's saying what he thinks uh, insanity is. And he's saying it while you're staring at him thinking this guy has no concept of reality or being a human being he is just he almost is like its own entity of just like he is just like this being of pure chaos and psychological and physical torture that will never stop uh hunting you and never can't, he can't be reasoned with. And, uh, yeah, that'll be my or- opening argument. Am I next? Have I ever told you the definition of insanity? It's doing, this. it's doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. Have I told you the definition of insanity? Yeah, oh yeah, and he says that like 1,200 times. Because he's not all there. But he's not the original person to say the, the quote, is he? Yeah, but he's the one who made it famous. Mm. Who's, who's arguing one. next? Who's Debatable. Arguing next? Who's arguing next? Uh, well, okay, I'll argue Bowser next, or are we just going to try and trap somebody off? No, I mean, we, we need to no, we, we, we got to do yeah. our arguments. Yeah, do arguments, and then our, we'll drop So some. Bowser is, like, the most acclaimed villain next to the Joker. Granted, the Joker's very popular. But in terms in of, like, video comments, games, Bowser's in the pretty much, game. like, but the Bowser, the king of, like, yeah, villainy. Yeah, he's yeah. the king. A fallen king. I'd have to. Okay. You what? He, why don't we go? Then we'll counter. Then we'll counter. We'll Calm count. down. No, Sorry. no. I'm curious now. <laughs> well, no. Continue. No, no. You continue. interrupted me again. So go he ahead. He interrupted explain. you too. So fuck okay. off. Okay. You are the worst at interrupting. Don't take after him. Yeah, I won't. I'm continue. 
no, my train of thought's now all, like, messed up. I had an argument going, and then he oh, interrupted, I, and you, interrupted. you do you do yours, and then... Come on, happens. haven't you ever you done a debate things. class? You can't let shit distract you. I've never done a debate class, and yeah, I'm this good. You go, and then we'll, we'll let David, uh, think. All right, so... So, anyway... No, 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 no. no, no, no. Oh, my God. I pull the you same guys need to just stop. Someone <laughs> go. Right, so, Bowser, everybody's acclaimed for him. Kidnaps the princess, always puts her in a different castle. It's annoying. Go ahead. That's my argument. Go ahead. That's your argument? Go That's Joker. Right That's voice. what you're going go off I was finishing my train of thought Go there, Joker. So go say Joker. All right. So, in the terms of the Arkham series, there are things that have happened in the comic books that have happened in the game. For instance, some of the bad things he's done is kill Jason Todd, which at the time Jason Todd was about 16. He crippled Barbara Gordon. He killed Jim Gordon's wife in a room full of babies. He just kills off his own entire crew without a care in the world. He shipped out infected blood all over Gotham and Metropolis to infect people with a disease that had no cure. Look, he's an abusive boyfriend to Harley. There's just hundreds of things you can name for the Joker. He is a purely evil person who has no good intention. His only, like, real want in the world is to watch it burn. Alright, let's uh, start countering people. I feel, on the amount of information David gave, that (laughs) David is the weakest link here. Here's my problem with Bowser. Isn't he kind of the butt of everyone's joke? Like, he's not that great of a villain. Like, he was the first... Granted, okay, I didn't do... Originally choose Bowser, so... Yeah, but... Immediately having to kind of, like, come up with Yeah, him but end. you could have also chosen Ganon, who's way better than Bowser. Ganon, yeah. He's way better than Bowser. Bowser also likes to go play tennis with Mario. He likes to... Go kart. Go race karting. He likes to play sports... Are they really enemies? Because it seems like they're kind of friends. It almost seems like... It's almost like Mario's like, Hey, a browser, take my wife. I need some time alone. All right, that just happened. Um, and that was horrible. And you're racist. Yeah, I, don't, I just don't know. As um, It's very hard to argue uh, why the Joker sucks. <laughs> um, I will make... I will try and make some sort of feeble attempt. Um, our two villains are very much... A similar in that they're both they're both insane. insane they're both insane. L- legit crazy and insane and they don't care for anyone really um and it almost seems like they don't even care about uh even themselves to a point which i want to agree with too because joker just wants to defeat batman he wants that victory so bad he was willing enough to inject himself with titan which he knowingly knew was killing off his own men just so he could try to get the one victory over Batman. In which he was truly going to just kill himself mm-hmm. in order to try to get that one victory. Which I feel puts it one point over Voss in the insanity factor. But I also want to say that one difference between Joker and Voss is Voss isn't as manipulative. He mm-hmm. rules through fear. Right. While the Joker can easily manipulate people i mean look at harley quinn yeah he manipulated her to fall in love with him so that way he could use her to escape out of arkham yes and i mean he uses her on a constant basis you know what i'm gonna do right now hmm. i'm gonna throw in the towel you're throwing in the towel I, I don't think i can have i don't think voss beats joker i think voss is one of the best villains but i agree i think my voss... the whole cornerstone for voss is how crazy he is there's only one person crazier than Vaz, and it's the fucking Joker. Um, so yeah, I'm out. So I, I want to I Bowser's out. gonna be out too because I, I don't know. You can make it. an argument. I, I want to touch base though, because it was rude of me to interrupt you, but I do have a point with the Fallen King, as we were talking about earlier. Bowser is a good video game villain, and he was one of the first. Very true. But when is the last time you could actually remember? Bowser being a legit bad guy. That's a good point. That's a good point. He's very much an outdated villain. Hell, even in like the Paper Mario series, he's kind of like 
the secondary. He's like a secondary. He's not. And a then true he even boss. then he works. He works with Mario more than once. And if you think Super Smash Brothers, I which don't. you would think, yeah, you don't really. No. Bowser's not even considered a bad guy in it. Yeah. All right. I think I. I mean, yeah. I think Joker wins uh, yeah, because it's so down. hard to argue against Joker. Yes. All right. So. Auto one, one for auto, one for round. Round three, round bitches. Three. So, I'm gonna start off. Okay. I have Solo Wing Pixie from the Ace Combat Zero game. You keep saying that, and I keep having no idea what any of that means. So, Ace Combat Zero is it result revolves around the story. It's a the whole game. You're a journalist learning about this pilot, and so you play as um, Demon Lord Gom One. You. Your character doesn't actually have a name. Okay. But your wingman, his name is Solo Wing Pixie, because on his wing he only has one color. It's red. Okay. On, like, the very tip. And then at the end of the game, about halfway through the game, he suddenly leaves. Mm -hmm. And then you guys, your base gets attacked by a a nation without borders. Or a world without borders is the organization's name. He's one of the pilots fighting in it, and then at the very end of the game... You are fighting against Solo Wing Pixie. Okay. It's a it's flight simulator wartime game. Okay. Cool. I'm just introducing. Yeah. All right. So as my introduction for my third pick, I chose us as the people. Otto's already shaking his head. David's shaking his head. But I do have a valid point. I could easily accept the loss for this round, but I do want to argue my point of view. Go for it. I think we are truly a good villain because one, okay, have you guys played Sims? Yes. Obviously. (laughs) Who has trapped a maid in a room with no doors, no lights, and a fireplace and a rug? Killed her just so you could get free cleaning. Not me. Not me. No, I haven't done that one. No, yeah. How many people have made their Sim dive off of a three-layer diving board into the concrete? Not to me. watch no. them snap their neck. No, nope. no, I, I just not I, either. If How I many played... people trap them away from their kitchen and let them starve to death as you sit there laughing evilly? No. Nope, I never done that. Never I just kind of you know go play through the game once. So I was like, oh, here's my life, blah blah blah, and now I'm done. That's but what I'm saying here is... Is you're a sick, demented, <laughs> twisted fuck. Yeah, I think we got that. But no, that's not just how I play. Yeah, a a lot, lot there's people... a lot of twisted fucks out there. Okay, cool. And yeah. then, oh, for instance, that. with morality, people usually tend toward tends, tend to lean towards playing as a bad person because it's the more fun option. You could easily look at the person you don't like in a game, say, fuck you, blow the brains out. Mm-hmm. A lot of people, when it comes to morality choices in games, they play as are, the bad guy. Are you arguing right now? I'm going to argue because this is the first time I'll argue first. Okay, well, we haven't even introduced... Oh, no, don't worry. Don't let him argue. I'm going to let me argue we'll my case because we'll I know I believe it. It's, yeah. it's too... So, but the way we play games could really just show who the heroes are, who villains are. For instance, cheat codes to get what you want easier in games mods so that way it's easier to play the game on survival and just other things that you do to easily one up the game mm-hmm. so that way you have an easier time playing it i'm not i don't use mods uh, by, by the way he was looking right at me when i was in that no i have uh, a, i have a gun mod i have gun. another mod that makes it so it's harder on like it changes all the difficulty up I have a mod that adds more crafting stuff, but I'm not using mods to cheat the game. I mean, granted, I do have a cheat script that I could use if I wanted to, but I'm not doing that on the But that's what I'm just saying, is, like, the options are always there, and people do take it. So it's really, outside of the system of gaming, you are the true villain because you're not, you're breaking the rules. You're just not playing by the script. You're making bad choices. You're doing things that you otherly couldn't do in real life. For instance, murder, killing. Well, that's the same thing. Murder, stealing, just anything. You could do that in real life. I'm, you I'm could not, do I'm it in real life. For but... a second, but you could do that in real life, technically. Well, we just devised against just, it. You can do that without consequence. Without the fear of consequence in games. Anyway. That was me counter-arguing and then counter-arguing my argument. I guess the best way to explain it would be using a metaphor that a gun doesn't kill people. The person using the gun does. 
Well, don't look at me while you I'm say just, that. You say it to you're, the microphone you, so the microphone can hear you. You just rebuttaled it, so that's why I was looking at you while you said it. So I rest my case on that. Otto, you're up. All right, so uh, Sephiroth is uh, pretty much one of the most universally known villains. He has literally the best song of any villain. Um, you should play a part of it um, in the in this because it's amazing. All right, let's, um, let's wait for a second. No, I, I'm going to just let the song play for a sec. So beautiful. All right, continue. This song's badass. All right, let's see. Uh, hobbies, killing people, causing destruction and chaos. His goals, reach the promised land, avenge G Genova, become a god, rule or destroy the universe, whichever. Um, he is a, uh, he is kind of like... He he could have been a hero, but um, he he got kind of betrayed uh by the people who made him, uh and understandably got a little pissed about that, and then uh kind of took that anger and said um well you know what I could do, destroy the entire world because I'm pissy, and that's what he does. Um, he is a uh, you know he's a uh, arch enemy to Cloud. Um, he kills a lot of people. Uh, uh, famously, uh, one of his best kills is, uh, Aerith from Final Fantasy VII, of course. Uh, Cloud's kind of girlfriend-ish, you know? They had, they had a little connection, um, but, you know, he and Tifa should be together, but that's just me. Um, uh, yeah, you know, the, f everyone's, uh, everyone knows that. Uh, the, uh, famous scene where, uh, that, that bitch is praying and he just jumps down and poosh, Stabs her right through the chest, and uh, that had not been done very often back when that came out, um, killing a major character. And S Sephiroth led the charge in murdering protagonists. They said, you know what, you can do it, and you can do it well. He's a son of a bitch who constantly taunts you. Every time you go up, like you face him, even when you lose, he'll just say, "I'm." He he, he still. It's like the, your rival from Pokemon. Even when you beat him, he's still like, "Oh, yeah, I wasn't trying. Bye. I'm better." He um has really no remorse for anything he does. Uh, he has. He doesn't care about anyone um, except uh, uh, you know Genova, who's his mother. It was. It's weird. Um, but yeah, he wants to just just fuck everyone in the worst way and he's extremely powerful and uh he does a very good job of coming very close to destroying the world thankfully uh good prevails in the end and uh but even then uh his last words i will never be a memory he constantly keeps showing up that son of a bitch even though he's dead he keeps showing up in other in other stuff and i know we're you know i don't want to won't go stray away too far from just the game, but, you know, in other media that has Final Fantasy in it, he shows up always fighting Cloud because, for some reason, I, I don't know if he's, like, part of Cloud's subconscious or whatever, but he just keeps finding ways to resurrect himself. And, uh, yeah, he's... I'd say he's one of the most iconic villains. You know, just his appearance, his super long sword, his long silver hair, uh, like I said, his awesome theme song he is one of the greatest villains in video game history and uh that's my case and a fucking side note here he does yes. have one of the best like cut scenes ever again with the with her brain yeah he just comes down that's one of the most shocking main character yeah. deaths in gaming history it is. all right so i'm probably obviously out you're uh, absolutely yeah, you're out. Out. there's absolutely no point out. i mean you're not a you're not part of. You're not a video game so, character, so yeah, you're obviously. Yeah. Who is your person again? Yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> Who the hell are you? you some pilot. Like, I don't. I don't, yeah, don't want to be mean by it, but it was like I completely forgot. It was Pixie. Some. His name is Solo Wing. Pixie. Solo Wing Solo Pixie. Wing so Pixie. he's some dude in a plane. He's a mercenary. He's a mercenary in a plane, who's pretending to be your friend, and then ends up being your adversary, right? Guess out guess who else does that? Sephiroth. He starts off as a companion to Cloud. Um and then uh he tries to kill Cloud multiple times. And uh no one remembers your your guy and everyone knows who Sephiroth is. Okay, since I'm judging this, I'm gonna ask one question. 
What bad things has your person done? What list of bad things? What I'm makes assuming, him I'm, I'm truly assuming villainous? you are looking at me since you're yes, looking at me. Yes, I'm looking at me. you, Raz. You can call me David, you know? I know. Because Raz Grease, not sure if it's copyrighted or not. Well, still have we haven't been copyrighted it. for it yet. No, that's good then. <laughs> Two uh, years strong. You want to know what bad things he's done? Yes. He betrayed my trust. Okay. That is the worst thing you can ever do to me. I've never played Final Fantasy, so I don't care about Sephiroth. All right. I've never Final, played... Sephiroth? Oh, yeah, I know. You haven't played it. I haven't played Ace your Con stupid wing game. He killed my girlfriend. I'm pretty pissed about that. I don't care about Final Fantasy. Final I don't Fantasy care about flying in a plane. Worst game series ever. Okay, what? Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy. This is our 15. argument for a different day. Yeah, anyway. I'm gonna, I gotta take some big issue with that. <laughs> Alright, we're pulling out the boxing gloves. No. no. We're going okay. into fight night. I don't... I've only played, I, like, Final Fantasy 15. I, play, I think I played 10. Oh, 15's great. 10 15's 15 great. Versus, yeah. No, 15's a great but game. But they're all great. They're, uh, they're good. Well, okay, I'm not going to say all of them are great. They're varying levels of greatness. But, <laughs> like you said, that's a t topic for another argument. It's a topic for another day. Or as soon as the camera turns off and you guys try to murder me. Oh, you know. Uh, maybe. <laughs> for there clarification, right I don't actually have anything against Final Fantasy games. They are good games. Most of them. I haven't played them all. I didn't really care for 13. Anyways. Anyways. So, he betrayed my trust. He killed the president. Why do you have that shit-eating grin on your face? Fine, you know what? No. I Obviously, Continue. you're not going to... No, no, no. Since I'm you're going to be the judge. No, hold on. No, Since I'm you're going to be the judge. I'm taking it into consideration. I'm you're honestly... Not, you're not going to choose my guy because you've never heard of him before. Yeah. I know this. So... I'm just going to go ahead and toss in the towel right here and now. All right, well, because, because David's a quitter and a spitter, be, Otto wins. To be fair, you totally were going to vote for me. Regardless. I was. Yeah. It was, you it was blatantly super freaking biased. clear what you well, were going to vote with. I, was, so, I, I, I honestly, I honestly opened up. I was looking for David's reasons because I was going to weigh the options. Yeah, Except for when you're sitting like this. People. Yeah, that doesn't help when you're sitting. And I'm, a, not, I'm not going to answer your question if you got this shit eating grin on your face so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna bother all right but we are gonna move on to our honorable mentions wine being i time. won oh. no i know we're, well, we're you, overall, you, you overall you overall yes won. We're, not, we're, we're not arguing on this one we're yeah. just expressing who we also had taken yeah, into consideration my second choice was time Dumb. but you guys thought it was dumb no no i said you I said, said it, it was dumb. dumb me and me and tim we were kind of like iffy on it because i did choose us as an option and it does relate towards time yeah um go ahead and say your second person your, your honorable mention tim albert person. wesker from the resident evil series and uh i he almost replaced sephiroth but in the end i picked i picked uh, sephiroth but i almost went with kefka from final fantasy 6 because he is a fucking clown and he is pure evil. You're a clown. And I'll he clown. actually did destroy the world and rule and become a god. But uh, Sephiroth has a little more personality to him, so I went with Sephiroth. Any other honorable mentions you could think of Wesker's in gaming? dumb. Just saying. Uh, I mean, there's a... We're, a we're going to cover one subject right now. There's a buttload which we of had, We had briefly touched on when I was discussing time earlier. And that's the Metal Gear Solid. Yeah, and their villains. Metal yeah. Gear Solid series and the villains. They have there. some amazing villains. Like their boss bat, the boss battles are great. Psycho and Manus. Psycho Manus. Um, I can't remember the old dude's name. Who's this? Who's the sniper? I can't remember it either. Um, I want to say his name is like End or the End or something. Yeah, like that. I actually Maybe. think you're right with the End. But my phone's over there charging, so I'm not gonna yeah. grab it and check. But yeah, yeah I mean, uh, I mean, yeah, there's tons. You know, Ganon. Um, Ganon. everyone from, um. Uh, Metal Gear, um, just a ton of great villains. There but uh, in the end, uh, Sephiroth and Voss are the best. And the other dude that I said, Arthur. And then there's also Two Face. Yeah, no, Two Face doesn't beat. Obviously, doesn't beat the Joker. But I'm just naming other villains that are like up there. Two Face. Arkham Knight was a really good villain until he was a villain turned good. Too bad his and game was a laggy piece of shit. Yeah, that is fairly true. 
There were so many glitches. But that's um, a topic for a different day. Atlas. Atlas was a very good bad guy in the Bio in Bioshock 1. Very true. What do you think? I'm just singing Seth Rollins' oh. song. Anybody else you can think of? I mean, anybody else I think of, you guys tons, tons don't of know because it's very obscure. So I'm not even gonna bother. Yeah, yeah I mean, well, no, I mean, you could say. I mean, I, I mean, the whole could, point of this is to forever. open our eyes to other things. I mean, we could be like, here, we could, I was honestly, genuinely trying to give your case a chance. We could be here for a Still I'm have sorry. a smile on your face while saying I, that. I'm just. Oh come I'm on! Happy. Did you honestly think your your pilot's gonna beat Sephiroth? No. Yeah. No. To be honest with you, I was actually going to toss in the towel anyway, knowing it. But... Myra from Gears of War was pretty good. As a good villain. Obscure as fuck. Nobody knows who you're talking about. Nobody plays actually, Gears of War. Actually, Gears of War has a really huge following. Ace Combat has a huge following too, but you and toss that shit aside. That okay, I think we're done. Uh, no, we're not. So yeah, we, no, we're we not. could spend another hour saying great video game villains, because there's so many. Anyway, so. Either go which ahead way. and wrap it up. Otto, you're the overall victor. You won two rounds. Woo I won one round with the Joker. David, you are the weakest link. And but... I'll see seeing you guys next week then. Oh, you're not? No, I got informed on what my schedule is. and I have work like at the craziest time, so I won't be able to be here before. So, we... Otto, me and you. You. And possibly maybe my younger brother. Oh, boy. But that is the story for After the Camera. We hope you guys enjoyed this podcast. If you guys did, make sure to follow us on SoundCloud, iTunes. Go over to our YouTube channel. Follow us there at Nerdgasmic Goodfellas. You can follow Whoa, our individual. Wait, we're on iTunes and SoundCloud now? I don't agree with that. What? How else am I supposed to put the he's, podcast He's got out? a point. I mean, I mean yeah, he has a point, but this is another one. You All right, cut, cut this. Cut this. Good Lord. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for listening. Auto wins. Auto wins. We'll see you guys next week. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs>